What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going through some of the graphic novels that were included in the 2000 comic book lots. Uh, he basically had these for sale as well, I didn't know anything about them, he wanted to throw them in with the price. I said sure, extra stuff for what I paid for. So I paid $1,000 for over 2000 comics, I think 2,234, I can't believe I remember that number. And he also threw in 20 graphic novels. I've already sold one and I've kept two for my personal collection. What I'm showing you guys today are the rest of the ones that I have for sale. We're just gonna get in through it. Uh, most of it is DC and Marvel. Most of it's heavily DC, but there is some Marvel ones as well. And these ones here I'm selling for about $10 each. Um, and I already have people that are interested in them. There is uh, price tags on them for about $16, $17 Canadian, so I'm not sure. I think $10 is fair for these. Up first, we have Robin, a hero reborn. Really cool. All of these are in great condition. Some of them don't even look like they've been uh, read yet. Uh, the one that I sold was Spider-Man Rain. I'm not really familiar with it at all. Uh, this one here is Spider-Man, or sorry, Superman Godfall. A little bit thinner than the last one, but again, I don't know anything about these. And the only reason I kept two, I kept a Batman one and a Daredevil one, is because they were written, and I think the artwork, some of the artwork was from Kevin Smith as well. Huge fan of Kevin Smith. This is uh, Supergirl. I'm not sure which one, I can't really tell here. There's a few Supergirl ones. There's another Supergirl. This one here is a lot thicker than the last one. But yeah, I'm not sure which uh, volume five. The other one I can't tell what uh, volume is. So this is volume five. Volume one, Last Daughter of Krypton for Supergirl. That's cool, I like it. I like that one so far. We have Volume 2, so I'm going to have to see which ones there are. Volume 1, Volume 2, I have Volume 5. Um, I might have uh, Volume 1 through 5, not 100% sure. And then we have Volume 3 here, thicker one. Volume 3 of Supergirl. So that's really cool. Uh, I just don't uh, collect Supergirl, so it's not something that I want to keep in my personal collection, hence why I'm selling it. Uh, we have 5 Ronin. Ronnie? I'm not familiar with it. Marvel. Um, doesn't even look like... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Then we have Superman, Batman, and Supergirl. That's cool. There's another one here. So there's Blue Foil. Then there is Superman, Batman, Public Enemies, Red Foil. Which is neat. Not familiar with these at all. I don't gravitates towards the graphic novels. Uh, this one here is Danger Girl Ultimate Collection. Not familiar with that, not Marvel or DC, so I'm not sure, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get the 10 bucks for it, but it is a thick book. Not sure, we have Marvel Annihilators Earthfall. Um, I thought it was Fantastic Four here, there's a four emblem. We have Wolverine, Red Hulk, Ooh, this one could be one that's interesting to read. Hmm, might have to check that one out before I sell it. We have another one here. This one has Silver Surfer on the cover. I like Silver Surfer. Um, it looks like Thor. I'm not sure who this is, but it looks like they're zombies or uh, the dead. But I like Silver Surfer, so I might have to check that one out at least. Uh, we have the Justice Society of America. Not familiar with that at all. Thinner. And we have the World of Flashpoints. Not familiar with that at all. Unfortunately. And we do have one more Danger Girl. Uh, Destination Danger. Not familiar with these at all. I mean, they look cool uh, right now. I think oh, this one has a price tag of $20 on it. Uh, I think right now $20, that'd be a lot. I'm trying to sell them for about $10 each. Hopefully I can get it, but that's all of the graphic novels that were included in the lots. 
Uh, very interesting stuff. I've already gone through the Spider-Man, the X-Men. I've already made videos on some stuff. I'm just uploading them periodically. Um, there's a lot more to go through. And I'm selling these. So right now I ship anywhere Canada-wide. Usually I use Canada Post flat rates uh, boxes. They're about $25 for 20 yeah, $25 and I can ship 25 up to 25 comics in that box. Shipping to the US I can do if anybody's interested. Um, it's just a matter of seeing how much it's going to cost me to ship it to the US. I can't use the Canada Post flat rate boxes because that's only Canada wide. So if you guys are interested in anything that I am selling, let me know. Any of the comic books, the graphic novels might be harder uh, for me to ship, but any of the comic books I can piece those together. And I'm also considering doing mystery boxes since I have a lot of comics to go through. That might be the easiest route instead of going through taking photos of everything. Just listing uh, mystery boxes, Facebook Marketplace, online, uh, eBay, stuff like that. That might be a route I do as well. But I hope you guys enjoy these comic book related videos that I'm doing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.